welcome to the step one of your study guide, and in this lesson, we learn about vitamin C. Vitamin C is also called ascorbic acid. It is an antioxidant that is involved with absorbing iron by reducing it to Fe2+. It is used in the enzyme dopamine beta-hydroxylase, which converts dopamine to norepinephrine, as well as hydroxylating proline and lysine residues on pro-collagen fibers during collagen synthesis. A vitamin C deficiency means that the collagen cannot be synthesized. This condition is known as scurvy. The symptoms of scurvy are swollen gums, easy bruising, petechia, which are tiny purple or brown spots on your skin, which is due to bleeding from minor trauma, slow healing, subperiosteal hemorrhages, which is bleeding between the periosteum and the bone, and parafollicular hemorrhages, which is bleeding in the hair follicle combined with corkscrew hair and a weak immune system. You can find vitamin C in fruits and vegetables, and if you pronounce it absorbic acid, you can remember that it allows you to absorb iron. Methemoglobin is a type of hemoglobin that has an iron in the Fe3 plus state instead of the Fe2 plus state. In this state, it cannot bind oxygen. Vitamin C is an ancillary treatment for methemoglobinemia because it can help reduce the iron back into the Fe2 plus state. Excess of vitamin C has the symptoms of nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fatigue, calcium oxidate nephrolithiasis, which are kidney stones composed of calcium oxalate. Excess vitamin C will allow your body to absorb too much iron, increasing the risk of iron toxicity. This can worsen the symptoms of hereditary diseases like hemochromatosis, which is a condition where the iron is already overloaded in the body. That's all for this lesson step one of you. We'll see you in the next video.